Alright, uh, just another example. Uh, this time it looks kind of complicated, but x cubed minus 25x over 4x squared times uh, 2x squared minus 2x uh, over x squared minus 6x plus 5, and then divided by x squared plus 5x over 7x plus 7. So what we're going to do in a problem like this, again, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I see this division over here, so I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal instead. So again, hopefully I'll remember what it is. Uh, I think it was x squared plus 5x here, and maybe 7x plus 7 there. Hopefully I did that right. If I didn't, oh well. Alright, uh, so what we're going to do, uh, first thing we would try to do is try to factor everything. So let's see if we can't do that. Uh, I may have copied it down wrong. No, think about it. I think I want this to cancel, so I think it's minus 7x. That might work a little bit better for us. Okay, uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to try to factor everything. So there's a common factor here. Remember, always try to factor out the common factor first. And then this is also factorable. Uh, it's difference of squares. So I'll get x times x uh, plus 5 times x minus 5. Whoops, I got a little crazy with that 5 there. All right, so this right here, that's a factor form both those. Uh, this is actually a monomial. We can't factor a monomial, so it's just going to stay there. Uh, this we can factor out of 2, and it's going to be x squared minus 1. And that's also factorable. Uh, over here, this is also factorable. So leading coefficient's 1, so we can use trial and error. x minus 5, uh, x minus 1. Here there's a common factor of 7, and then here we're going to get, uh, yeah, a factor out of x. Okay, uh, I think I got everything factored. Uh, that's factored, 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 factored. Okay, now what we're looking for, anything in the numerator that we can cancel with anything in the denominator. So, uh, you should see a x minus 5 here and here. Um, x plus 5 here and here. Uh, what else do we have? x minus 1 here and here. Uh, we can't cancel this one with both. Uh, there's only one of these and there are two of those, so we can only cancel one of them. Uh, lastly, uh, well, not lastly, uh, x, I can divide this x by x and this x by x. And then 2 will go into itself once, we'll go into 4 twice. So what's left? I have 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times x plus 1 times 1 times 7 times x minus 1. So I have 7 times x plus 1 times x minus 1. In our denominator, we have 2x squared times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1, which would be 2x squared. And there you go.